It's uh, May 2023, and you know, it seems like uh, every year, for the past couple of years, I've made a Umar Johnson video. And the last time I made a video was about Hope Giselle ambushing him and, you know, getting her, you know, you know, let, letting her, letting herself be unprofessional. Okay, we'll just say that shit because, you know, I, I am on a new channel. I'm completely shadow banned to the ninth degree. I'm shadow banned, okay? Nobody's going to see this, uh, the Geek Underground 4 shit, you know, until I, you know, I figure out some way to get out of the shadow band. They don't even have it show up or anything. So this is like a, whoever's here, you're, you're part of a privileged, you're part of a privileged few and shit, okay? Because YouTube is actively discriminating against me, but, you know, that's a story for another time and shit. So know that if you're here, that you were one of the lucky few that got in to this ghost channel. It's a ghost town of a channel. But it's okay, you know, I'll, I'll work something out. So, you know, getting back to Umar Johnson and shit, I saw a uh, video on the Bunker TV, you know, talking about how Umar, well, I've seen a couple of videos he's done with Umar Johnson that's uh, almost correctly and astutely identified the boule class and its levels and uh, the shit where he talked about foreign black people from other countries that come over here and how they're used and discarded and shit. It was very... You know, informative and shit. You know, very astute and shit. You know, I would be uh, more than inclined to uh, big up that, and, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, Umar Johnson uh, promised to uh, create a school for black men, black boys. You know, something exclusively with black boys that needed it. You know, it's a, it's a real need that we have. Okay, we need to uh, take care. Of, we really need, you know, I'm Generation X and shit, and you motherfuckers under me, like right up under me, and shit, you millennials and everybody else. You need to take an active hand in whenever you can, whenever the opportunity presents itself, to make sure that no one follows us, our, you know, the way we grew up and shit, without much guidance and without being it. We can talk to each other now. We can communicate. You know, it's. I feel like it's a moral responsibility to make sure these young kings have the best opportunity, a chance for success, or even knowing who they are and shit, and being happy, truly happy, and living their best life. Okay, and to that end, you know, Umar Johnson fucked up and he, he he took money and shit as far as i know for a school he bought a building and everything and uh it just became a shit show and no school has materialized yet nor has got a straight answer and no one ever presses him about this shit okay except trolls and assholes you know some tethers they fuck with him about it but I, and i can't be in that crowd okay i have to be my own man i have to stand on my square shit my own dime and shit even in the shadow band ghost town of a channel and shit and speak on this okay Nothing he says, I'm not going to validate anything he says until I hear a, a, a decent explanation of why he doesn't have that fucking school after taking funding and everything. He has seen, actually said he lost funding because of his own boorish behavior and shit and cavorting with uh, a woman that was uh, classified as a, a stripper. Okay? Like, he knew all the shit. He knew all the risks and everything, but he didn't have the discipline. While he's sitting up talking about all these fucking groups. He didn't have the self-discipline or the wherewithal to get an attorney and make her sign an NDA and shit, okay, and deal with her behind closed doors. He never did any of that shit, okay, and now you got, you know, he's compromised and shit, people made money off his dime and then he did shit, or his followers did shit to, you know, I went and looked this thing up. You know, his followers, you know, like, were trolling a woman and attacking her online and shit, and giving her more clout, right? You fell into that trap. It's always the dirty panties over the nose thing. It shit gets on my nerves with these. You know, it's like kind of like back in the day when he, if he's ever voted, really voted Democrat and shit like Gary Hart and Bill Clinton and shit. We had the same problem down here. It's all some dirty panties over the nose or some other kind of shit. The substance abuse. Or, you know, thankfully not this fat motherfucker. But, you know, it's always some dirty shit. You know, you can't keep that behind closed doors. So you should lead with that. Say, hey, I'm just a regular person. I want to do this for the community, but I let you know that I'm a regular person. I'm not a saint. You know, the whole, uh, you know, Sir Charles Barkley's coon ass, you know, narrative and shit, how you're not really a role model, but you have the community's best interests at heart. And when you, I want to tell you people, when somebody's out there talking about a project or something to do for this community and everything, if they don't have their ducks in a row, you shouldn't be giving them money, okay? We never heard who was the staff of the school. We don't know if Umar was intended to be the principal of this thing or, or somebody at the administrative level. We don't know. He had these facilities and shit, you know. He didn't get an adequate building assessment of that property that he brought, you know, to tell him what the money was that he needed to 
bring it up to snuff and shit, you know? Then no shit. We don't know who this grant writer was or anything, you know, for, for you know, funding. All right? We don't know. We really don't know. And he, he didn't push it. Other than him running his mouth and talking about it ad nauseum, you know, being blustery and everything, like a, you know, like a tin preacher and shit, or like the black church. You know, we got bullshit. And some people gave him his, gave him that money. And I think he should pay that shit back. This fat monkey ass should pay that shit back. I don't give a fuck what the situation is right now. Okay? Not, you know, he was right, right on point in all that shit he was talking about. But he has no credibility to me, personally speaking. I can't speak for anybody else. He has no fucking credibility. So, you know, I just have to give him a middle finger and shit, okay? That's all. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.